Sticks are a new addition to Adobe Character Animator that give you more control on how your characters bend or don't bend in certain areas. I've got this character Seth here that I created in Photoshop, and I want him to be able to wave hello. So after importing him into Character Animator, I'll double click him to open up the puppet panel. First I need to indicate what I want to drag and move around, which for Seth means his hands. I'll select the group where the hand artwork exists, in this case the body group, select the dragger icon from the toolbar below, and add a draggable handle to each hand. If I go ahead and add Seth into a new scene, I can now move his hands by dragging near them with my mouse, or my fingers on a touch-enabled device. But they're bending as if the character had no skeleton, like a spaghetti noodle, which may be great for some characters, but for this guy I want to give him a little more structure. To do that, I'll go back to the puppet panel and make sure I've still got the group that contains my draggable handle selected. Then I'll select the stick icon and drag a line through the area where I want things to stay rigid, as if I were gluing a wooden rod behind this artwork. I'll repeat this a few times to specify bicep and forearm areas. Now if I go back to my scene, I'll notice that Seth isn't bending in the areas where I drew sticks, but is bending in the elbow area between them, allowing me to let him wave hello. With my puppet selected in the timeline, I can also adjust the dragger property to determine what happens when I stop dragging and let go. By default, things return back to their rest position. But I also have the option of hold in place, which essentially turns my puppet into a posable action figure, which can be helpful for setting up particular poses for recording. If I want to record each of these arms moving separately, I need to add a second dragger behavior. You can do this in the puppet panel by selecting the very top level character to see all the current behaviors appear in the properties panel. Then click plus next to behaviors and choose dragger, which will add a second behavior to record. Note that you can always click the icon to the right of any property to rename it to something clearer, like left hand or right hand. To record a dragon animation in my scene, I'll make sure I've got the red dot on next to one of my dragger behaviors, click record, and animate one of the limbs moving. Then I'll disarm that behavior and arm the second one, letting me record a second limb. If I had a touch-enabled device, I could use two fingers at once to record both draggable parts simultaneously. By adding sticks in his legs and more draggable handles at his joints, I can make Seth's whole body move and record a full dancing animation. The more sticks and draggable handles you add to a character, the more control you have over how they move and bend, although it may take several recording passes and dragger behaviors to get the exact look you want. A few quick notes and tips. First, you can't cross sticks, so make sure you have a little space between each one. Second, you can also make draggable handles in Photoshop by having a layer with a single dot from the pen tool in shape mode and naming it draggable, but you can only make sticks within Character Animator. Finally, sticks can be a quick fix to prevent parts of your character from bending if you don't want them to, so it's okay to add several small sticks all around if it gets the effect you want. If you're interested in digging deeper, you can download Seth as a free example puppet and project by following the link in the description below. Good luck and thanks for watching.